Please. So, what's the plan? Now, would you look at that? Why not? Let's see. That's the way. Blasted armor. There, another ghost. <laughs> Will do. You read my mind. This way, right? So, Iskrim, how long have you been doing this? Doing what? Digging up bones, dusting off trinkets. I honestly always thought archaeology was just a hobby for the nobles with too much money. Well, it is, in a way. And I'd have to lie to you if I told you my life's been particularly easy. Especially during the Mage Wars. Yeah, I guess. Did you ever think of going elsewhere? Kalea, maybe? Finn and Mir? Why did you even leave Windwall? That's a long story. And regarding your first question, yeah, I have thought about that. Kalea especially. Marvelous place with scholars. But then Rondar Lacan came along and offered me this opportunity. Makes sense. Corporal? Get ready! Sounds like a plan. That way? Mm -hmm. Got it. Who are you? Who are you? 
Mm -hmm. This way, right? <laughs> Blasted armor. You see that overgrown building? That's the Nexus. Nehoff's hammer. It looks just like on the stone carvings. Seems to be protected by some kind of barrier, though. How do we get past? Excellent question. I doubt we can banish that barrier by force. Maybe... Oh, yeah. The ghost. He might know something. Worth a try, I suppose. Let's head back. Interesting. Uh, all right, why not? Let's see. Sounds like a plan. Yes. Here we go. You regret this. Yes. Help, please. You killed one of our heroes. What's next? Just give the word. What do we need? Baron. Interesting. So Mullendir's watering system didn't extend all the way up to here. Or parts of it broke over the centuries. That it's remained functional until now is already a phenomenon as it is. Huh? All right, here goes nothing. Interesting. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Yes? They will fall. Tiara's breath. What... what was that thing? <sighs> no idea. But it fit the description of that great evil the God King was talking about, didn't it? You're right. Huh. If this creature came to visit the goblins every once in a while, I can understand why they were scared. Yes. Hmm. Punara Yuganza Zawayetu Kwanlar. Well then, Iskrim, can you ask him about the barrier? Yes. <clears throat> Vorzan Devlar Zawayetu Zavandyaras? What? Van Drax Vorzan uh, Devlar. Punara Yuganza. Zawa Yetu Kanla Zans Vu Nyan Kesnai Devla. Oh, I see. So? It's complicated, but I think I understand now. He's part of a defense mechanism, so to speak. His soul is bound to the city in order to protect it. I think he wants to be freed. If he's here to protect, why didn't he attack us? Good question. Maybe the magic that controls him got weaker with the centuries. Does he know how the Shapers died? That's one of the greatest mysteries on Eo. I asked him that, but he didn't react. I think he knows, but his mind isn't able to process my question. It's sad. There's the source of Shaper knowledge, yet we cannot access it anymore. Source of knowledge? That's a person you're talking to. Or was one. You'd know that, right? I do. Doesn't make his existence less phenomenal. Hmm. And if we free him, will that banish the barrier? Well, the problem is, he's not alone. There are still three more of his kind here in Mullendir, and unless we free them all, it won't get us any closer to the Nexus. Then we need to find them all. How do we free them? Well, that's the thing. I might have misunderstood, but I think we need to fight and, well, kill him. It's the only way. Blazes, this is so ironic. Here we are, the first sentient beings to walk this city in millennia, and now... <sighs> well, if we want to enter the Nexus, I doubt we have a choice. Also, they don't exactly seem too happy here. I know I wouldn't if I'd been roaming a deserted city as living dead for millennia. I know. It's what they want. Then let's get this over with. Salam! We should get moving. <sighs> what a waste. Let's see what he yeah, has. A shard. I... 
Wait. Tahar, that rune Lacan gave you, could you show it to me? Sure. Fascinating. They look alike. How is that possible? Good question. I suggest we take a closer look at it later in the Nexus. Now come. I'd like to get this pointless butchering over with as soon as possible. That's the way? Amazing. Simply amazing. What? The city! Did you notice the vegetation is quite different from where we came from? Yes. And it's a lot warmer. Exactly. And it's these canals that are responsible for it. They channel the underground rivers, warm the waters up with their city's technology and, and lead them all the way through the city. This way, the Valley of Mullendir was and is always fertile. Eternal summer, so to speak. Hmm. That's interesting indeed. Interesting. Yes? Two more left. See if they also have a shard in them. Yes. Let's see. Interesting. Understood. So, what's the plan? Whatever's necessary. Hmm. One more soul to save. Uh, something you need? Yes? Just give the word. What's next? Huh? What the? Something revived him! The Godstone! Imprint yeah. our rune on the Godstone. That might sever the connection. Yes? Corporal? 
that way? Something shifted. We should take a look at that barrier. Would you look at that? It worked. <sighs> I was half expecting the city to blow up in our faces. Now, wait. Do you hear that? Nihau's hammer. Sounds like a plan. You got it. Nexus or not, there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door. Kind of unsettling, to be honest. So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Yes, just stay wary. We have no idea what to expect. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch, and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power long forgotten, waiting for someone or something to wake it from its slumber. The Nexus must be nearby. Incredible. So, this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. So, what's the plan? Understood. Uh, all right, why not? Let's see.
All right. next. Yes? Mm -hmm. I'll keep you shielded. Give the word. Yes. Danger up ahead. Understood. This way, right? You 
got it. <laughs> Blasted armor. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear, none of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. Uh, something you need? Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm guessing we got lucky? This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendir's heart. So, as I said already to Har, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. I guess you could call it a power source. They used it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. Huh. And where exactly does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts, but the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence, the same we mages use to cast magic. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. I see. And what did they create? Just creatures? Well, obviously just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper society, and only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. But keep in mind that I'm just guessing. Did you just say they used this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some Shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this Nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learned through somehow joining their minds to that pillar. It was just one more reason why they were so superior. The elite of the Shapers, the highest castes, had no need for couriers or transcriptions. They were connected. And you're sure that wasn't just a rumor? A lot of the scholars idealize the Shapers. That might be true, but their telepathy is mentioned in many of the stone tablets. Not just from the Shapers themselves, but also from the few races who dared to defy them. They almost described them as demigods. Well, that does sound useful. And a little bit scary. Either way, I suggest we take a look around, see what we can find. Corporal? That way? Now would you look at that, Nihav's hammer. Do you feel that? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? Huh. Looks like some kind of anvil? Could that be where the Shapers forged their creations? Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? That strange rune Lacane gave you. Could I, uh, borrow it for a moment? What for? As I said... A little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. What? The runes. They look alike. So, Lacane gave us a Shaper rune? Might be, yeah. He seemed to think it was a gift from Aeonir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Aeonir handing out gifts to his followers, but 
As you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. Sure. At least we'll be out of the blast radius that way. <laughs> Very funny. Hmm? Got it. Will do. Sounds like a plan. What's that? Hmm. Looks like a map of Fiara. A very old one. Can that help us somehow? I think so, yes. You see those markings? Glyphs. They look like someone carved them into the stone. Hmm. Can you make out what they say? I've been trying, but... Yes. Yes, that's it. Over here, quickly! Is Grim? Ah, there you are. I was right. It worked. Look. I don't see anything. Just take a look. Here, Tar. I. Ah. W what the heck just happened? What did you do? I don't know. The room. It. It must have reacted to you somehow, Tahar. Yes. But why? What did you do to it? I. Joined it with the shards we found on the Ghost Watchers. I'm guessing that caused some kind of magical reaction when you, as the rune owner, touched it. So we're bound to the city now? No, of course not. But I think the rune got stronger. Still, I'll have to do more research on this. I can't help but feeling that these runes are an ocean and we've merely touched the surface. Let's just hope there isn't a monster on the bottom. Anyway, what now? We still haven't learned anything new about the Bloodburn or the Song. That's right, we haven't. But while I was working on the rune, a thought occurred to me. Remember how I told you that some of the higher caste shapers were able to communicate by thought alone, by telepathy? Yes. They joined their minds with that pillar. Exactly. Frankly, I believe that's exactly what the song is. Telepathy. You mean we're hearing the thoughts of a shaper? The shapers are extinct, so no. But it might be someone else using shaper magic or, or a sort of mental echo. The memories of the dead. I'm not sure what you mean by a mental echo. Well, the Shapers left all kinds of traces, didn't they? And those specters we fought on the surface are proof that their magic is still prevalent. Also, we know they use telepathy to communicate, so who knows? Maybe this song is just a lost, forgotten thought that somehow made it through the millennia. Hmm. That's almost poetic. The song is telepathy? You mean... What we are hearing isn't an actual sound, but a thought translated by your mind, yes. That explains why not everybody hears it, doesn't it? Why do we, then? Probably because of our magical gifts. It makes sense, doesn't it? So, somebody is talking in our heads. That's bizarre. Be that as it may, how does that get us any closer to finding a cure for the bloodburn? Well, it does, because it tells us what has to be done next. Reactivate the Nexus. Why? Because it might allow us to do the same thing that the Shapers did. Join our minds to that pillar. We could connect to the collective subconscious of an extinct race. Which then again could help us understand the song and its origin. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. How do we reactivate it though? Good question. But I believe those two pedestals have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they're what used to be conjuring the energy of this place. 
and they're empty. So we need to find whatever was in there, don't we? A power source. Yeah. The only question is how. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's get back to that map. I think Iskrim should take a look at it. Here we go. What do you make of this, Iskrim? A map of old Fiara. By Nehalf, this is... this is incredible. Yes, but I was talking about those markings. They look as though they were added manually, don't they? I've started translating them already, but I'm stuck. Can you take a shot? Let me see. Zaganar... Zavuladun. Hmm. Stones of... wait. You're right. The Stones of the Essence and their location. Stones of the Essence? So they are the power sources we're looking for? They must be, yes. But why would someone hide the stones and then mark their location? Who says someone hid them? Maybe they were just brought somewhere else. It's common knowledge that the last years of the Shapers were chaotic, and they might have had a good reason to abandon this Nexus. Then maybe it's not a good idea to bring them back, don't you think? Well, the thing is, without the stones, we're stuck. We need this place up and running to understand the song. Even if my theory about it being telepathy is wrong, without power, we can't access the archive neither. Then we need to find them. Absolutely. And I suggest we start right away. We- Hold your horses. We're not getting these stones anytime soon. Why? Because if that map is anywhere near accurate, one of those stones is located in what's now Aeonir's Blade. No point going in there without an army. The Iron Falcons. Right. Iron Falcons? You don't know? Well, probably not that surprising. Nowadays, there are people who even take them for a myth. The Iron Falcons are an order that is protecting the tomb of Foyle Dark. They're fighting the world's end, so to speak. What about the other marking, Iria? Maybe... That one's even worse. This land where the marking points to doesn't even exist anymore. It's right in the Black Sea. Damn it, you're right. But, huh, that doesn't necessarily mean that this island doesn't exist anymore, does it? Maybe the cartographers of our era simply haven't discovered it yet. We could build a ship, right? Sail there and find out. Yeah, maybe. But again, for that we need support. Someone who can provide us with influence, money, and at least some troops against whatever we'll face there. Not to mention the fact, Tahar, that your former general has probably already sent his dogs on us. <sighs> Ideas? Huh. What about that village mayor, Clara Farland? Didn't she tell us something about certain friends she has? True. And there was a shapeshifter. Yeah, though I still don't think this is a good idea. How about the Moorhair Elves? You told me they're investigating the Bloodburn too, didn't you? We fought them in Leonon. I doubt they'll be eager to cooperate. They know they made a mistake. That Scryer, she snapped, and given General Noria's intentions, she wasn't even that wrong to do so. I'm pretty sure they'll listen to what we have to say, especially if they're struggling with the blood burn themselves. Mm. All right. It might be worth a try. Well then, sounds like we have plenty of options, doesn't it? Where do we start? Hmm. I think Clara Farlin is our safest bet. She owes us. True. We can still seek out the moor here afterwards anyway. Or the orcs, if you really think this is a good idea. All right. Then back to Farlin's hope, is it? Yeah. Let's take some more time to rest and get prepared.
So, this'll be our base, won't it? I guess so. Yes. Nihalf's hammer. How about a tad more enthusiasm? We're in the ancient city of the Shapers. If anything, we should feel honored. Well, let's just hope the city's defenses work better for us than they did for them. I'll take care of that. Above all, we need allies. We'll find them. next. Got it. So, this is it, isn't it? Our base of operations? So it seems. An ancient Shaper city on a quest to find a cure for the blood burn. And we're working for the purity of light. <laughs> Sounds crazy if you say it like that. Just some weeks ago, I thought I'd be in Greyfell now, trying to make a fresh start as an innkeep. Innkeep? You? <laughs> hey, don't laugh. What's wrong with some honest work after years of defiling on the road? Getting up early in the morning, setting the tables, Serving mulled wine and stew to tired, weary souls? Just a simple, honest life. Innkeeping is fun, until you find yourself on your knees at dawn, clearing up the puddles of vomit and beer these tired, weary souls left behind when they were done carousing. Quite the cynic, aren't you? So, you'd leave it all behind? The adventuring? Ah, uh, you know. People always act as if these decisions are final. The only way to find out how much I'd like that kind of life is by taking a chance, isn't it? And if one day I wake up and find myself in need of a change, I can still pack up my things and hit the road again. <laughs> Upsides of Elven blood. There's plenty of time. For what it's worth, I enjoy your company. Sure you do. Who else would patch you up after the next monumental battle? Anyway, talk later, shall we? I'm sure you've got battles to prepare. Understood. Hmm. 
Ah, Tahar. How nice of you to come by. Made yourself comfortable? Comfortable? Believe me, being comfortable is the last thing on my mind right now. Just look at this place. A shaper city. Don't you feel it too? This sense of divinity? You seem to be quite excited to be here. <laughs> Why, of course I am! Tahar, I'm not sure if you understand how much this means to me. The forgotten city of Mullendir, the heritage of the Shapers. Since my childhood days, I've dreamed of this. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, thank you. You and the Harbinger have made this dream come true. Well, all we did was save you from the orcs. You were the one who found the entrance. You make it sound as if saving me from those greenskins was an easy feat. It wasn't. Anything else I can help you with? If not, I'd like to take another look at that rune Lacane gave us. It's at least as amazing as this place. That armor you're wearing looks quite special. Is it from Windwall? My... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's from Windwall. I forged it myself. Why do you ask? Well, our smiths might be able to forge you a better one. It looks quite worn. What? No. No, that's not gonna happen. Why not? It, it means something to me. But if it's my protection you're worried about, I can do some work on it myself. You'd have to cover the expenses, though. I'm a bit, bit short on material these days. Fair enough. I'll let you know if I have some resources to spare. I found some materials. Could you use these to upgrade your armor? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that could work. I'll start working as soon as possible. Great. There we go. Thanks, Tahar. Yeah, do you need something? I'm a tad busy. Goodbye. Yes. Here goes More nothing. More fighting. Does this never end? 